snowed. It's hard to believe that we are still in the thick of things for winter, even though it doesn't really feel like it outside. Temperatures have been well above average. We've had some patchy fog, low to high level cloud cover coming across the region. We welcomed in some sunshine in between the bouts of cloud cover, and we're getting a lot of high level cloud cover from a storm system that's to our south. 29 degrees right now in Idaho Falls. Winds very light out of the south southwest at three miles an hour. But let's go to Pocatello because I want to show you the time lapse from the Farm Bureau cam just to show you the nature of our weather still with this patchy freezing fog. So in the early morning hours around 6, 7 a.m., it was a beautiful start. And then late in the morning, the fog rolled in and then we started to thin out the fog. We still had a lot of high level cloud cover. We brought in the sunshine. And then we started to see actually very nice temperatures come across the region. This is very indicative all across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming for the past couple of days. We're going to keep this in the forecast at least for one more day until we finally begin to start to shake things up. Let me take you to Vipercast. We got a storm system over the four corners, and we have another storm that's further out in the Pacific Ocean that's going to start coming on shore as we roll into the weekend. So we're going to lose this little ridge of high pressure we've been having here. The inversion is going to be departing. And we're going to start working in more of that, uh, I would say, seasonal weather with some scattered showers. But temperatures are still going to be pretty warm getting into next week for February. There's a bit of some snow around the Continental Divide tonight. Very weak front there along through West Yellowstone. But we lose the ridge of high pressure for eastern Idaho. And by Sunday night, we start to bring in some snow. Now, again, we're going to start seeing the snow late Sunday and early Monday. So it's going to be well after sunset, we begin to see the snow start coming across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. And then it's mostly into the mountains. Some of this will spread into the Snake River Plain as we get into early Monday morning. But it's not a huge punch of snow. No, it's just a trickle of moisture coming in from the northwest. So this is not going to be a uh, blizzard or drought busting kind of a storm. No, it's uh, just looking to be passing snow flurries and showers all throughout next week. And it's also looking to be a rain snow mix. You're seeing some uh, brighter colors here, even some green on the Viper cast indicating yeah, temperatures are warming up, and we're going to keep most of the snow and rain into the mountains. Let me show you my breakdown. Morning clouds and fog once again here for your Saturday. Mild weekend temperatures, we're going to be pushing the numbers into the mid-30s, and then into around 40 degrees as you get around Pocatello. Then the snow comes around late Sunday. Take a look at the highs here. We're going to be around freezing for Idaho Falls and Rigby. Above freezing for Blackfoot and Pocatello, 35 to 38, and lows into the 20s, just shy of 30 degrees for Burley tonight with a high of 41 for tomorrow. We'll go to Mackey at 34 for high tomorrow, 35 for Stanley, teens and 20s as you have worked into Chowles and Salmon. The normal high for Chow should be around 31. We're a bit above that at 34. 30 for Rexburg, 28 for St. Anthony, 35 in Island Park, gorgeous in Island Park, and Island Park will be warmer than Rexburg because of the inversion. Jackson, you're looking at a high of 30 with 14 for the low, 41 in Preston, 37 in Lava Hot Springs, mid 30s in Soda Springs. Let's get to the eight day forecast because we see warmer temperatures with this added moisture getting into Monday and Tuesday. Winds pick up out of the south, that takes us to 40 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday, rain snow mix into Wednesday, and then take a look at Saturday at the end of the eight day forecast. Forecast. Slight chance of snow working in towards next weekend with temperatures into the 30s and 40s. Pocatello high of 43 for Sunday, mid 40s into Monday and Tuesday. Scattered snow, the wind picks up here for the midweek. Overnight lows into the 30s. We'll go to Rexburg, also starting to see temperatures here warming into the mid to upper 30s by Monday and Tuesday. We do have some hope for more snow leading towards next weekend, but we're going to be looking at temperatures still pretty mild for the next 8 to 10 days, mid to upper 30s and even some 40s. Blackfoot also keeping the 40s in the forecast with a high 44 by Tuesday, mid 40s for Thursday. Slight chance of snow next weekend there at the end of the 8-day forecast. Salmon, you're going to be looking at a little bit of a rain-snow mix by Sunday evening. Scattered showers all throughout next week there. We're going to get hits of rain and snow scattered throughout central Idaho. And then you go into the mountains across western Wyoming, Island Park, Driggs and Victor, the Jackson 8-day forecast here. Chance of snow Sunday afternoon, but that's mostly going to happen after sunset. We're going to see a snowy Monday and Tuesday with passing flurries and highs at around 30 degrees for Jackson, which is great news for the resorts. I'll send it back over to Jay and Carol. All right. Thanks, thanks Michael. Michael. You know,